I, uh, I'm one of 10 bakers that was selected for the Holiday Baking Championship on Food Network. The Holiday Baking Championship. Your first challenge, what we call the preheat, begins. You'll each grab a nutcracker and make any baked dessert that you'd like. Oh. But. I don't think anyone can pre be prepared for, you know, this sort of format or whatever. Uh, Where are the ring molds? So if a nut challenge isn't enough, they are still in their shells. And I have to crack them by hand. It had to be a nut challenge. It had to be a nut challenge. Some All of it, and the producers in my interviewing process had told me that they were very interested in this whole career-changing sort of story. Yeah. I'm Steve Konopelski, chef and co-owner of Turnbridge Point Bed and Breakfast in Denton, Maryland. I'm a former Broadway dancer, and I hung up my dancing shoes to take up a career in baking. Exciting. Our, our first episode aired uh, November 1st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's required for me to say. Steve. So judges, for you today, I made tarte au sucre, which is the traditional French-Canadian sugar pie. I think you're correct. But I think that cranberry is so tart. The filling, it's sweet, and the creme fraiche is just nice and smooth. So if you get them all together in one mouthful, I think it does work. Thank you, Lorraine. Uh, my husband's parents retired to Cambridge like 10 years ago. Uh -huh. So the entire time that Rob and I have been together, any time we're going to visit his family, then we always were driving through Eastern Shore. Um, his brother and his two sisters live in uh, Bel Air. So when we were like, we need to be closer to family, so uh, we definitely were saying, well, we need to move to Maryland. Work. And we weren't 100% sure if there was a need, but we discovered a lot of really great things to do all within about a 45 to 50 minute radius of this town. And since we are, you know, on the main road from Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Annapolis to get to the beach, we knew if we uh, put out a great product, we would be able to pull the people in. And it actually hasn't been that tough of a sell to sort of be like, come over from, you know, the Western Shore, stay with us, make this your hub. Go to the beach for the day, go to St. Michael's maybe for the day, go to see any of the parks or go to do any of like the, there's a million bike trails that all start here in Denton and kind of spread out. Uh, we've got the Chop Tank River in our backyard, bring your kayak, launch it right from here, you know, explore upriver, explore downriver. Um, the, you can bring your boat right up to the boat club, which is basically across the river from us. So you could conceivably sail from Annapolis right to here. You know, so there's a lot of things that I don't know if people had really thought about. I also don't know if the community itself had realized what a bit of a gem they actually have. So and when we got here, you know, there's not really a bakery in this town. So one of the things that we do is we serve as a custom bakery. If people want cinnamon rolls or muffins for, you know, meetings at the courthouse, which is right across the street, then they call us, give us a couple days notice, and we prepare that for them and they just come and pick it up. You know, we really hope to, one thing, be um, like the high-end cake decorator for this area. It's, uh, cake decorating is like a huge passion of mine. Um, it's the thing I enjoy doing the most. So when people call me and asking for a cake, then, you know, my eyes just light up. Um, so definitely being, you know, uh, the wedding cake decorator for this region is something that uh, yeah. is a big hope of ours. I think we hadn't been here a month and we'd already been invited to join every board and uh, uh, committee that there was in town. Um, and we wanted, to, we wanted to be in a community where we could uh, participate. We wanted to be part of the community. Um, and when, as soon as we got here, we weren't shy about, you know, oh, we're just kind of snuck in, we're just kind of going to do our little thing. And, you know, we made our presence known to the town. We said, this is what we're hoping to do. We hope you guys will be behind us. No. It, was a, it was a huge risk. I have to say, when we were looking at this piece of property, um, uh, some people from tourism and from economic development got wind that we were considering buying this. And they actually made um, the effort to reach out to us and sort of say, hey, we heard you might be interested. Here's a few reasons why you should consider Denton. And uh, I found that just uh, you know, I thought that was invaluable, yeah. you know, if people were taking that initiative to call us and say, you know, we want you here.